Let's have party. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Carpo Gaming and another Destiny 2 Season of Arrivals video. Well, it's about that time, my guardian. It is reset day. It is Tuesday at reset, which means we have a new means to an end quest to get after. That's right, if you're looking to get yourself a new shiny pinnacle, well, this is the guy for you. First thing first, we need to head over to the annex into the prismatic recaster and then we're gonna pick up our weekly cast called means to an end don't forget to pick up your weekly bounties as well and you can complete these along the way now the first part of the quest step is called barrier to entry we need to complete some public events last week we was on io this week we are on titan so we're going to spawn into the siren's watch and we're going to complete some contact public events so this is how it's going to work if you are a new light guardian. You need to accumulate 100% for this part of the quest step to be complete. Now if you complete two heroic events, well then you are done with this part of the quest step. So if you don't get it done, don't worry. Just get it to 100% and you'll be done with this part of the quest step. Now uh, the very next part of the quest step is uh, rather interesting. We need to collect some Umbral Traces by either completing Escalation Protocol, Gambit Gambit Prime, or The Reckoning. Now I'm not going to lie to you, the fastest way to get this done is The Reckoning. Now you can go on either tier that you want, the fastest and the best way to do it is on tier 3. So if you can get into tier 3 and Reckoning, well this is how it's going to work. You need to get 100% by affirming your dominance, just by killing enemies. So if your team can get this part of this tier 3 reckoning done, you're on to the next step, which is getting 6 of these sections captured. Here's where the fun part starts. It's going to be a whole bunch of heaping and hordes of umbu traces if you can get to this part. Now if you don't, most of your team is just going to disband, just hop right back into it. And if you get part of that quest step done, then we're going to go to the last part of the Reckoning Tier 3, which is to, to defeat the likeness of Oryx. The whole time you're doing this, you're going to get a whole bunch of hordes and heaps of Umbu traces. And this part can be done in less than 10 minutes. Just like that, one run, you're going to have over 50% done. So like I said, you can easily get this done. It's the fastest way to do it. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to be showing you how it is in Gambit Prime. The reason why we headed over to Gambit Prime, because if you still need to pick up another pinnacle, well, you can get this pinnacle done as well. Now, it will take you a little bit longer to get this part of the quest step done, but it will be rather worth your time if you need that extra pinnacle. So it's totally up to you. Any one of these modes can get the job done rather quick. After that, we're going to go to our weekly mission called Interference. But just like last week, this one's going to be a little bit different. We have to fight against Nocris. Now, if you are one of those new light players and you still haven't gotten this quest done, this is how it's going to break down. You're going to take out Nocris. You're going to deal a huge amount of damage to Nocris. Then Nocris is going to get an overshow, basically a shield. Now, in order to take down that shield, you're going to have to take out all the enemies. There are going to be some yellow bars that pop out. Take out those yellow bar enemies and then they're going to drop a relic. That relic is going to be something that you're going to eat. Pick that relic up, and then you're going to go to those shards that are glowing. They are protecting Nocris. Pick up that relic, head over to the shards that are either to the left or to the right. Toss it at the shards, you're going to take down Nocris' shield, and then we have the cycle complete. Wash, rinse, repeat, deal damage to Nocris. She's going to call out more enemies, and then she's going to get that overshield, and then you're going to take out those yellow bar enemies. You're going to drop that nice, lovely relic. Wash, rinse, repeat until it's done. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, you are done with this weekly part of the quest. The only thing left to do is to listen to the lovely dialogue from this story mission and from Eris Moore. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Nacris is an abomination. His name stricken from the world's grave. You've done well to purge his stain from this failing court. Why would Sabathun work with him? With... Nacris is an exploited outcast, Little Light. 
queen saw value in his craft. Death rituals to buck the worm's game. I dare not wonder how she meant to wield that knowledge. We shouldn't dwell on it, you know. He's not coming back from that. Good riddance. Savathun's haze has diminished considerably, though not completely. She's still out there, hiding. And I hope she saw what became of her brood. Hold still. I will fetch you. Don't you see? It is as we once said. In light, there is only weakness. Only failure. Only death. But where the light takes, the dark gives. No longer will you be a pawn. No longer will you watch the lives of those you care for be lost. Remember, in darkness there is only strength. Only victory. Only life. Ancient power awaits you on Europa. This transmission can be translated as contact. Not physical, more ethereal. Influential. It is conjugated here as an action with a singular subject, but innumerable objects. Ardian, what if we are not the only ones to whom the darkness speaks? This message denotes a continued inevitable movement. Falling would be a suitable translation, though the outcome here is not necessarily negative. The die is cast. As the light from a distant star takes time to reach our eyes, an event we cannot yet perceive has already occurred. Mm. Nice. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. You are done with this weekly part of the quest. Time to pick up our lovely pinnacle. Head back to the prismatic recaster in the annex right over there by the drifter and pick up your weekly quest item, the pinnacle. But for right now, that's pretty much going to for the video, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, I hope you truly enjoyed it. As always, if you are new to this channel, hello and welcome. Don't forget to subscribe right here at Carpro Gaming. I upload a ton of different videos ranging from a wide variety of topics from update videos tips and tricks to weekly quest videos like this so hopefully you enjoyed the content if not that's still cool hope you're having a wonderful day thank you for everybody for all your love and your support and as always i'll be seeing y'all in the next one later